Hello everyone, welcome to Fiora. How are you guys doing today? I've got the M1 A1 Abrams. Fully outfitted with its ERA Tusk cage equipment and its anti-missile system. I've also upgraded it so that it has a total of 3165 HP. Now, I'm gonna say this. I don't like the Abrams. I don't like it in real life. I don't like it in the game. But I know it's the most popular tank that everyone wants to see in the United States. So, without further to do, we are going to have a match in the M1 Abrams, then we're going to have some PvE fun. Now I am going to show you guys why I don't like this tank. M1 versus M1A1. Already actually ricocheted. That actually happened. Not quite sure how. But it happened. Now I start advancing through here. I get proxy lit by the weasel. Who needs to die in a fire because it's a weasel. A missile's coming at me. Not that I care. My anti-missile system will go off and shoot down the first missile. And then 45 seconds later I'll shoot down the next one. Oh, there's that Abrams. And I go for the hatch. Minor damage. He returns fire and gets a full pen. I return fire and penetrate the turret ring. Damaging his turret, killing his commander. I'm pretty sure he's going to use his first aid and his repair kit on those. I aim for his ring again. Ring his ring and destroy his turret outright. And then the other Abram shows up and bounces me. And I bounce back. The gun on the Abrams really truly is subpar. Also, the gunner sight and commander's computerized giant video recorder up there are both weak points as well as the turret ring. I could see the turret ring, fine. I could not see the gunner sight nor the commander sight being those huge, as huge a weak points as they are. He penetrates my gunner sight again. And this is going to happen over and over again. And then also at point blank range, the Abrams gun just isn't accurate enough. Because I'm going to miss a shot or two, and that shot or two is what's going to get me killed. Just flat out. Spoiler warning, I'm going to miss a shot or two, and those two missed shots are going to get me killed. Now, I don't know what the hell this chieftain's doing in here. If proper matchmaking was working, he wouldn't be here. But I will gladly take 500 off. Penetrates the gunner sight over and over again. It's it's annoying and that that bounce just cost me my life I'm fighting two Abrams solo and they've realized it so I start backing out I'm trying to force it so that they have to both come from the same direction thankfully he actually hit my upper plate but the other one got a side shot Now I need to kill the other Abrams. I need to kill the one that has no hit points so I can engage the one that has all the hit points in a solo match. He penetrates, of course, and I am going to not hit the turret ring and bounce. He penetrates, of course. Yeah, this tank does not have armor like it should. It really just doesn't have the armor. Its gun is subpar at best, and its armor is even worse. And now I'm getting hit with 
I think he has high explosive. That's how he's doing so little damage. He's trying to HE me. Yeah, he just HEs me. And believe it or not, I don't think we win this one. Now, I've done a massive amount of damage, but I haven't done a massive amount of damage in comparison to my hit points for sure. And T90, could you have taken that shot six seconds earlier? That would have been nice. If you would have, you know, got your ass over here nicer, quicker. Or, you know, if you had a pair and would have taken a hit. Because those M1s, as we're going to find out when I'm playing my T90, this thing has a stupid amount of armor. It's goddamn near invincible. And it hits like a freight train. AP shells from this thing do a minimum of 600. That's the T90. You saw my Abrams, the high roll was 580. And then on top of that, it's got really, really good armor profile. Um, but, I mean, I don't, I don't remember if... I, I think we actually... I think we might win this match. Yeah, we win this one. But those two bounces... Those two bounces cost me my life. If either one of those shots had penetrated, I would have been able to turn and fight the other tank. But instead, say la vie, full zoom shots don't go where their program don't don't go where I told them to. They go where RNG says. Yeah, we're gonna win this one. T90, grow a pair and go get him. He's driving, he's doing all this driving and he should just go in. He's so scared to take any damage. And what he's and what he's going to get rewarded with because he didn't take any damage because he was so scared to actually go in and take any damage, the enemy T90 is going to die before he gets there. Or no, he might get the killing blow. I'm not sure on that one, but I think the enemy T90 actually dies before he ever even gets there. He fires a shot, doesn't do any damage. And we win, which is kind of nice. It's kind of nice to be winning. Sorry, I got a text message from someone. Now, this is on a times two weekend. 47.54 damage, two, one kill, two assists, 22, 222,000 credits, and 4,100 reputation. Later, I kind of feel like I accomplished jack and shit. Five of my shots ricocheted. Five of them did not go where they were pointed at ranges of less than a hundred meters, Obsidian. Less than a hundred meters away, and I can't get a shot to go where I told it to, which is into their turret ranks. And without the times two, I would have lost money. I would have lost money without the times two on this. Your economy is still borked, and I hope you fix this in EA5. Now we have Operation Umbrella with the Abrams, carrying 48 shells. I clarify it carries 48 shells. You're all looking at me. Is she foreshadowing something? I might be. See, because of the low damage potential of its gun, it should probably carry more ammunition. Because at the end of the day, particularly in these PvE matches, I don't think it has enough rounds. I also think that shot should have penetrated because that was a side-on shot of that Leopard 2, but, you know. That one penned. The other one was a heat shell. I could see it maybe not penetrating. Uh, 
See, his side armor is thick enough to stop my gun, but my side armor at that angle would totally never stop a gun. As we just saw in the previous match, I literally had side shots like that go into my tank, whereas the Leopard 2A5 has enough side armor to pull that shit off. Good night. And these are AI, that's an AI Leopard 2A5. The actual Leopard 2A5 that players control is significantly more armored. So I could see a couple more of those shots ricocheting off of the side of a player-owned Leopard 2A5. And I just got penetrated by an M1. Who I failed to penetrate the gunner's port of. Everyone seems to be able to penetrate my gunner's port, but obviously I can't penetrate my own. And I don't know how I damaged your fuel tank without penetrating. That's been coming up a lot, Obsidian. Finally get him in the turret ring and he's dealt with. Moving on. Another chieftain. Side of the turret. Done. Let's keep pushing. Hey, I got the top kills right now. Hello, AFV. Who's going to HE me for 200? Yeah, HE damage is way out of control, Obsidian. HE me for 100 to my front to my front upper plate with that tiny gun. Yeah. I really think that HE damage in general should be lowered. Especially when you got people in player versus player matches just HEing their way through people's front plates from 300 meters with 100 millimeter or 73 millimeter high explosive shells. And then my 120 millimeter cannon doesn't even get a high explosive shell to pull that shit off with. That's right, the Abrams care doesn't get any HE shells in game. I don't understand that decision. It has the lowest penetration out of any tier 8 main battle tank in the game. And then on top of that, it doesn't get a high explosive shell. You get Sabos and you get Heat. And that's it. Yeah. I think I need a high explosive shell. And I think I need more ammunition. As I believe this mission is going to quite easily prove that this thing really needs more bullets. Ooh, critical hit. Extra damage, yes please. Aim for the turret ring and get it. Now I am getting the turret ring quite a lot on the enemy, on Abrams I'm shooting at. But the times I don't, I don't understand like that why I didn't go in the turret ring. It's a full zoom shot. I wasn't moving. I also don't understand why he's not shooting back. This AI computer has a full sight on me and should just blast me and doesn't. He wasn't shooting back the entire time, so I figured he was he was just going to continue his non-shooting back behavior and I was correct. That's how much damage a high explosive shell should be doing to the front of my tank. 60 to 80 is acceptable to the front of my tank. The sides and rear, okay, fine. You can do two. You can do two hundred plus. But the front, yet yeah, no. Also, I have found ERA is completely useless against high explosive shells. That's right. That ERA armor gets hit with an HE round and doesn't stop it. It still does damage to you. Took me a second to actually, you know, realize this. Like the Artie just hit the side of my tank where the ERA is, and the ERA plates did explode. But I still took 200 points of damage. What's the point of ERA if it's not going to stop high explosive obsidian? That's kind of one of the purposes of it. Is to cause high explosive to get deflected away. Or at the very minimum for the explosion to be directed away from the vehicle and therefore not actually hurt the vehicle at all.
By the way, guys, I'm down to 17 rounds. I've got 17 shells left. And we're going to be counting them down as I keep firing. I really, really think this tank needs to carry more ammo if you're not going to give it that high of an alpha. That is a rear shot with a heat round. If I fired a heat round from my uh, T90, that would be like a thousand point hit. And the T90 and the Abrams carry the same ammo count. 36, sh 48 shells. Plus the T90 carries a secondary barrage of, get this one, missiles. I recognize that as an ERA plate, but that is not. So I firmly plant it where there's no ERA, pl ERA plate. And then get set up to do it again. He does 100 points to my frontal plate with a high explosive round from his 85 millimeter gun. Yeah. See, that's really one of the things that's just pissing me off. The HE is doing too much damage to the front plates of, of main battle tanks. There should be, you know, they should almost do no damage. Not 100 point shots. Because if you get three AFBs just peppering at somebody, 10 volleys and they're dead. M maximum 10 volleys and they're dead from high explosive rounds. I'm going to go activate the point. Which activates the final spawn. Now I'm surrounded. Those poor bastards. I'm just going to keep backing up. Keep giving ground. Because I know that I am surrounded and that I need to fight my way out of not out of being surrounded first. Ooh, that's like a maximum damage hit from this thing's heat rounds. And that's a fragile Leopard 2A5. I can actually penetrate its side armor with the heat shells. Come on. Gotcha. Ten shells left. Nine shells. Critical hit for 690. Which means that was a low roll. Oh, that's a low ass roll. Eight shells left. Also, I've kind of noticed the AI doesn't launch missiles. I know that some of these tanks are equipped with missiles, but I haven't really seen them launch missiles unless they're in a swing fire. Blue is engine. And took him out. 12 kills. Six rounds of ammunition left. Keep going, girl. Keep going. We got this. We got this. We got this. We got this. We so hardcore got this. Uh, that BMP3 needs to stop flanking me. Because he just did a 200 point, or a 100 and something point HE round to me. Deny those two guys to my left shots. Back the hell up. Make sure he's dead. Now go back and engage the guys who were in front of me. Look for the green. Fire. Three rounds left. Look for the green. Fire. Bounce. Two rounds of ammunition left. Cripple that tank. Now I have one shell left. I'm going to kill one of them. Take out a gun, Fiora. Out of ammo. Out of freaking ammo. I'm not even kidding. Out of ammo. I came in here with a full shell load. Don't have anything else left to shoot. I throw out the smoke grenade to increase my chance of surviving and just back the fuck up. I just have to hope my two allies have bullets and are capable of killing stuff.
I tell the Leo to cover me. I'm out of ammo. I move on to the circle. I move forward to try to give the Leo some spots. I can at least light the Leopard 2 AV for him and tell him where it is. And you know what? I can take hits. So I'm going to go ahead and roll off the cap. And I'm going to drive up here and take hits. No, I'm not. I'm backing up. I'm done. Yeah. Out of ammo. I can point my gun at him and look threatening. Yeah. I'm out. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just trying to cap. I'm going to pull up and provide the leopard a shield and try to get the leopard 2 AV's attention, but we thankfully capped it out and the mission's over. Obsidian! More shells! In general, on most of your tanks, would be appreciated. Now, I get I cost 18,000 points of damage. But seriously! More shells, please! <laughs> I've run out of ammo in tank destroyers. Now I've run out of ammo in a main battle tank. It happened. It finally happened. We need more ammunition, Obsidian. Flat out. <sighs> Eighty percent of my shells hit their target. Eighty percent. I actually only bounced seven rounds out of the 48 it carries. And this is, again, the double weekend. And this is how much you should be making on PvE Obsidian without your boost. This is how much we should be making. Right here. Now, my problems with the Abrams are... That thing on the left, that big box, is a weak point. And it's not a weak point. It's just a computer slapped on top of the tank with a wire going into the tank. That should not be a penetratable weak point. And the gunner sight should absolutely cause... Break the gunner sight, fine. But it shouldn't be causing full damage on... A, a lot of shots hit it for full damage. It shouldn't be doing that. The turret ring should be the primary weak point of this tank. Not that gunner sight, Obsidian. Because the turret ring is something that is harder to hit and makes more sense. That gunner sight, I've looked at schematics, is completely sealed off from the rest of the tank. The shell has to penetrate the sight without penetrating the back, bounce, 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 and then go into the bottom of the sight to actually get into the interior. The odds of that happening are slim to none. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed the Abrams. As much fun as it is. Like I said, later this week we're going to be looking at the T90 and the Ramka. And then even later we're going to be looking at um, the Leopard 2A5, the Weasel, the Leo 2, the VLB, all of these tanks that I have in my garage that are so pretty. I actually sold the Abrams. I don't like it. And I bought the T90. And I like the T90. I like the T90 a lot. But in the meantime, this is Fiora officially signing out for right now. And I will see you guys in the next video. Please like and share this video. Get the word out about my channel. If we hit 1200 before Monday, I'm going to significantly increase the prize pool for you guys. And um, I'll have a big, big, big old thank you for you guys. In addition to this, um, Alien Isolation is going to be put off to this weekend. Um, for reasons. Uh, but check out these other videos. Um, I'm sure you'll like them. But in the meantime, this is Fiora signing out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye, guys. You can't be a frontline vehicle. You get shredded. You have to. You have to actually be a sniper. It's a forced role, which makes you are very unhappy with taking first. Ooh. Ow. However, they pack a hell of a punch. Basically, they are all firepower, mobility, and nothing else. Also, I think the shadow system over eclipses the tanks a little bit. Graphically, it, it doesn't look as nice. And we 
froze there for a second. There we go. Sorry about that. Hmm. It's also really hard to judge because because the tank destroyer rounds are stupid high velocity. So for me, it's a big adjustment from say playing my other vehicles to playing, which means your armor is relatively weak still. Identify target. As you guys can see, I'm just getting punched through the turret. That's I mean, it does occasionally bounce around, but pretty much I have discovered with this tank, if you get shot at, and it hits, expect it to go through. I'm sorry, there's not, there, there's no way around it. That's simply what's going to happen. If you get hit, expect it to penetrate. And it's kind of a shitty position to be in, and I don't really know how to fix it, other than... It's a tier 4 MBT. Don't expect them to have armor. They've also changed it from a premium vehicle to a standard vehicle. And I have firmly discovered that the standard heat shell isn't even very useful against tier 4s. But the missiles are pretty damn effective. Poor guy. Just got smashed. <laughs> 